What's up, fellow collectors? Welcome back. Today might be Master Toy Museum. I'll be a curator today. Guys, more fun. More action here on a Monday from the museum. Got the coffee on, guys. I'm still working on my first cup. I said, you know, let's come down here to the museum and let's do some videos on some of my newest remote control fighting robot, you know, additions to the museum. Uh, this is Jib versus Jab. Sharper image, Mecha Rivals. This is a, a twist on, or you could say an upgrade. You know, we're talking about robots. Uh, this is a, a huge upgrade on the Rock'em Sock'em robot set from the 1970s. You know, everybody's getting, all the companies are getting, toy companies are getting in on the fun, the Rock'em Sock'em robot fun, and creating their own version, you know, of that iconic 1970s set. And I've been getting a lot of, uh, adding a lot of these beautiful uh, remote control fighting robot sets uh, to our museum collection. So check out our playlist, you know, remote control playlist on all of our, our robots. So this is a, our newest adi edition Sharp Ramage, Mecha Rivals, Jip versus Jab. And as you can see on the side here, there's the remote controls for these guys down here and over here. The way it works is these guys' arms move. They punch the centerpiece right here. And the the head, which is attached to a, a small body as well, ejects when struck. So the first person to do that wins that round. I've been following, uh, you know, tracking this set, particular set, for a while. It's it's expensive. It's a little over forty dollars, as as well as it really should be, because when you're getting into electronics and things of that nature, remote control, stuff like that, uh, you're going to pay a little bit more. So it, it's not manually controlled like the Rock'em Sock'em robot set from the 1970s. Uh, you control it with this fantastic controller, the red controller and the white controller over here for Jab. Uh, beautifully done. Uh, Sharper Image is one of my favorite... Uh, Companies, as you can see here, over here, we have the uh, Sharper in Image Burnout Drifters, one of my favorite uh, remote control sets, you know, from uh, Sharper Image, probably in, in my entire remote control uh, collection of my museum. So, as you can see, it's always on display here on in our main area of the museum. But back to our, our combatants. Here are the, the wheels. You see, pl all plastic. You see he's got the bumpers here, over here and over here. Um, we'll use Jib because he's not blocked out by the fantastic artwork here. As you see, it's Jib's winning this, this round. As you can see, this is how he looks when, when he ejects. From the body. Yeah, but we'll use uh, Jib because he's, you know, you can see see him better. Size of these fists. The wheels look like, uh, you know, they uh, more track. They're on tracks, but they're really not there. There's wheels underneath that. Underneath that just gives this beautiful illusion that he, they're on tracks. As you can see, looking at jab over here his tracks and we'll turn these guys around you see you got the lights and sounds ejector seats wireless control 
back arrivals punch to eject so we'll turn this turn this guy around here for you and get you there's a great blown out shot here look how far the the head ejects when struck just shot here to back here built to brawl fantastic dual modes you can play for the win in versus mode or train in solo mode ejector seats hit your rival's chest target to launch their pilot into the air Guys, your thoughts, your questions. We want to hear it all in the comment section right underneath this video. Have you seen this? And I got this from Target. Got this beautiful set from Target. As we turn this back around. I'm not sure if it's just in Target or it's somewhere, you know, it's sold at other stores as well. But we, I've only seen it in Target. I don't know if Target has... You know, a contract with sharper image. I don't I don't know how that works. If you've seen this somewhere else, let me know in the comment section, guys. This is what uh this is interactive. This is an interactive toy. You know, if I had this back in the nineteen seventies as a kid, I would have went crazy. I would have went nuts. This is what I'm talking about. I don't think my parents would have been able to afford something like this, though. Get you some close-ups here. The collectors like the close-ups. See the chest part here. I believe this is where the beam hits to control them. I could be wrong about that. I love the way these guys are built, though. They look really cool. Love the helmet here. You got the little things on the side of the helmet. Antennas. Jib versus jab. Just another fun addition to the, the museum, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment sections. Uh, like I said, I found this at Target. Uh, it's still there. I saw a few, few of these sets. So if you want these guys, run out and grab them. Uh, they're worth it. Uh, our Jeb versus Jab is, is for museum purposes only. They're just on display. They're for display purposes only at this part. You know, they're historical pieces of... Uh, history now of toy history but I bet these guys are a ton of fun uh, to play with and compete with your thoughts guys let us know you know the routine guys more fun on the way God bless stay safe and keep collecting.